Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to another session of our series, Morning Reflections on the 99 Names of Allah. Inshallah, today we'll be covering two names uh, of Al Latif and Al Rafiq, names that denote uh, subtleness and kindness. Allah tells us in the Quran that how could He who created not know His own creation when He is most subtle, all aware? Just getting a, a, a reading of this aspect of creation as we covered just last time, uh, as well as knowing the creation that belongs to Allah, but this aspect of knowing, having an interest and concern in the creation, an investment in the creation, uh, and then coupling it with these attributes of being subtle, being gentle and all aware. So gentleness and kindness, we all desire to be treated with gentleness and kindness, you know, the, the who, who doesn't in that aspect. Um, these don't need to be grand gestures or big gifts or anything like that, something that stands out, just usually simple acts will do. Um, when folks give us a smile or just do something nice for us, uh, maybe people just checking in, seeing how we are, uh, or some people just helping us, we're getting help, um, in, in ways that we don't expect. We all appreciate these treatments and it inevitably does warm our heart. It does open us up to helping other people as well. It helps us to reciprocate in different ways, but we see how much a small act of kindness, a small positive act does for us in our life, even if it doesn't make a huge difference. And so al Latif is the one who is the benevolent, who is the subtle, uh, the one uh, with those who serve and worship him, the one who serves and worship him uh, are treated subtly. The ones who are uh, who are worshiping are treated gently and treated benevolently. Um, and as well as amongst that which Allah had created is also uh, being, uh, tri being treated towards in a benevolent and subtle way. Uh, the root meanings of this word of al latif uh, come from the root meanings of uh, gentleness, subtlety, and kindness. And uh, the scholar Ibn al-Qayyim uh, states that Allah knows the subtleties of everything, and he treats these uh, servants and those who worship Allah with gentleness, that there is this reciprocity that's there, but also the treatment that Allah gives is one that is marked by gentleness, especially for those who incline towards Allah. Uh, as far as Rafiq, we also have uh, a name that has a connotation to not just mean gentle and beneficial, but uh, it's a word that is used to mean uh, a companion as one travels. So it's, it's someone that walks alongside someone, someone that accompanies uh, another person. And together, when we put al-latif uh, with al-rafiq for Allah, um, we see that it means that Allah is always with us wherever we are um, and aware of our thoughts, aware of our emotions and the protection and presence with Allah are not only with us, but they are those which are subtle. We may not directly notice them, but they are uh, within our life in different ways and such. Uh, Allah frequently combines the name of Al Latif with Al Khabir, the one that is all aware. Uh, and so the meanings of these names reinforce one another, as Al Khabir is the one who is aware of the inner realities of things, and Allah is aware ultimately then of not just our internal state, but our external state, uh, that which is subtle in our lives and that which is obvious. And the subtleness is not just for our hearts, it's not just for that which is inside, but things that are for all around us, our environment, the very world that we live in, the subtleness is for all of that. Think about rain coming from the skies, that, uh, that, na that nature of rain is one that nourishes the earth and helps to cultivate it and uh, give life to so many other things, but subtly uh, it's done. We don't really notice it um, all that often. We just think that it's raining, but thinking about the, how subtly it is to maintain life or maintain vegetation or just to sustain certain things. And these things happening in that, in that case, there's various signs that are around us that indicate Allah's subtleness of that. In nature, this is just something that happens. You know, sunshine is just something that happens and then, you know, causes photosynthesis and all these other things um, that, that sustains life uh, in this way. And so you, you, you're able to see that all these things happen, but uh, we, we just think that they're givens. And these givens are actually what uh, are these subtleties of Allah uh, helping to sustain us uh, in this way that we lifted up in the beginning of the uh, session in the verse in which he said that how could he not, how could he created not know his own creation? So knowing the creation, knowing what the creation needs to sustain itself.
And so uh, this subtleness is also manifested with respect to our life trajectories in the sense of how we move about our life and how we move towards our ultimate goal of not just becoming better people, not just becoming more God conscious, but ultimately wanting to become reunited with the law. We may, we may not realize it. Uh, we may indeed believe that we are moving further and further uh, away from our goal because of how life is taking us down certain paths. But uh, what's interesting to bring up here is that it may be in the subtleness that we are being moved to our ultimate goal, though we may not realize it in the moment. And uh, the example of the Prophet Yusuf السلام, is one that is absolutely uh, resonant with respect to this, uh, this attribute in a sense of not maybe realizing it, but ultimately seeing that when we may feel that we're moving farther away from our ultimate goal or purpose, that we're actually moving quite closer to it uh, and then even achieving it or living into that purpose. Uh, but with uh, Yusuf السلام, we have someone who as a child was uh, you know, mistreated by uh, his brothers, was sold into slavery, was wrongfully accused and incarcerated, um, was, you know, made innocent eventually, and then eventually made a minister, an overseer of people, and then eventually reunited with his family. And what's really interesting is that uh, at the end of the chapter of Surah Yusuf, you know, as he's reunited with his family, he lifts up that my Lord is most subtle in achieving whatever he wills. So seeing that Yusuf being at the top of the top in, in with respect to his society, with respect to his job and where he could be versus where he came from. But looking at the journey, it wasn't that he just grew up in a, uh, in a good politically uh, aligned family and that family um, had good connections. And then Yusuf is now the minister of the people. Um, he went on quite an unorthodox trajectory from being someone uh, sold into bondage to being someone incarcerated, to being someone who uh, was eventually made uh, a governor or minister over people, over specific things. Um, and so uh, you have this uh, th this trajectory that's there, but very subtly, you see the hand of Allah, you see the guidance of Allah playing into this life, into this journey, and to close that chapter and to close that, uh, that story, in a sense, with this aspect of lifting up Allah's subtleness in achieving whatever Allah wills uh, is absolutely key. So how do we live with this name, inshallah? We live with this name first and foremost by understanding that if Allah is gentle, if Allah is subtle, we too should be gentle with others. We too should be subtle. Uh, in Sahih Muslim, uh, as narrated uh, by the Prophet Sallallahu uh, in Sahih Muslim, uh, Allah is gentle and Allah loves gentleness. And that uh, in Sunan Abi Da'ud, uh, the Prophet Sallallahu is narrated as saying, show gentleness. For if gentleness is found in anything, it beautifies it. And when it is taken out, when gentleness is taken out from that thing, it damages it. Seeing the value that gentleness has and the Quran lifts this up that uh, if the Prophet ﷺ in Surah Al Imran, if the Prophet ﷺ had been harsh or rude um, with people and not been gentle with people, that they would have left, that they would have abandoned. So, seeing the importance of not just being gentle, uh, especially in a time of Ramadan to other people, uh, also extend that gentleness to yourself uh, in times of difficulties that we overexert ourselves, we get overcommitted, we uh, really get involved in a lot of things that might stretch our patience, stretch our temperament. But be gentle with yourself and care for yourself, but also remember uh, that Allah is gentle and loves gentleness in all matters to that which is human, to that which is non-human, to that which uh, is, is seen and unseen and uh, all that which is around us. And then uh, in addition, call people to good through your actions as the process was lifted up here that if he had been harsh or rude, people wouldn't have come to him or wouldn't have formed this community around him, but calling to people through those actions and paired with gentleness. So uh, keep those two synced. And then lastly, recognize Allah's subtlety, recognize Allah's kindness and reflect on it. Think of those moments in your life that just happen. They're, they're givens, right? Think of the way that we have certain privileges that we have and we think that we're just born with this stuff or we just happen to be given it uh, and attribute that subtleness to it and see how it feels when we connect Allah to it, especially when we might not see Allah in our life. When we sometimes think about Allah as being in our life, we think about these ah oh, big moments that that happen, and we sometimes ignore the mundane or the 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 given. And that's where Allah is as well, in in the subtleness, in the mundane, in the everyday, uh, and that's where that kindness is as well. So reflect on it, see where it is, and we ask Allah to continue to 
be uh, a latif with us, to be subtle with us, but to be uh, subtle in a way that we too come to see uh, Allah's hand in our life and that we too can be subtle with other people and that Allah, Allah continues to be gentle with us that we may be gentle with other people, especially as we continue on this uh, journey to learn the names of Allah and to incorporate them in our life. Until next time, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Jazakallah khair for attending. Assalamu alaikum.